Last season's RBS Six Nations Championship couldn't have started better for Italy with a tremendous win at home to France to kick off their campaign. And Jack Brunel's side were hoping to emulate that success when they travelled to Cardiff to face the defending champions Wales. Brunel gave a debut to right winger Angelo Esposito. Young out half Tommaso Tommy Allen, a former Scottish youth international, made his Six Nations debut at number 10. Wales went into the game looking for an unprecedented third straight Six Nations Championship success. Having lifted the trophy in 2012 and last season as well, coach Warren Gatland, who recently signed a contract extension with the Welsh Union, left captain Sam Warburton on the bench as he recovers from a shoulder injury. Alan Wynne-Jones captained the side in his absence and Scarlet's out half Rhys Priestland got the nod to start. A crowd of just under 67,000 were at the Millennium Stadium for this, the championship opener, and there was quite an opening to the game. After a spell of early Italian possession, it didn't take long for the Welsh to assert themselves on the encounter. Adam Jones took on the duty of scrum half, feeding Priestland, who kicked in behind, and the young debutante Esposito failed to deal with it. Alex Cuthbert gleefully accepted the present to cross over for the first try of the match and the first try of this season's championship. The 20-year-old from Treviso will be hugely disappointed to make such a crucial mistake so early in the game. And last season's top try scorer in the championship was quick to open his account this year. Eight of Wales' nine tries in the championship last season came in the second half, but there was no hanging around this time. Lee Halfpenny, who was top point scorer in the competition for the last two seasons, landed an excellent conversion from wide right, and the Welsh had a 7-0 lead with just five minutes gone. It was a major setback for Brunel's side so early, but they weathered the storm and in the 12th minute worked their way back into the game when Dan Lydiot was penalised for not rolling away by referee John Lacey. He was taking charge of his first ever Six Nations match and it gave Allen the chance to narrow the margin. The youngster was earning his fourth cap and this was an easy kick to settle Italian nerves and it left it seven points to three. Wales were struggling to break down a resolute Italian defence, but they did manage to add three more points in the 29th minute when the Italians were perhaps a little harshly penalised at the line-out. And when Halfpenny is presented with a chance like this, he rarely misses, and this case was no different. 10-3 on 29 minutes. The visitors continued to offer a stiff challenge to the home side, and indeed they almost made a breakthrough in the 35th minute when Gorey's crossfield kick was challenged for by George North and Sergio Parise. The ball broke for Parise and he crossed over the try line. But the referee sent it up to the TMO to check for a knock-on. And the replays were clear that the Italian captain had knocked on and the score was disallowed. Yeah, clear knock-on, John. Almost immediately, what could have been level scores became a clear lead for the Welsh when Scott Williams combined with Jamie Roberts to create a second try for the men in red. Roberts showing why Racing Metro were so keen to sign him. Great strength and speed before feeding Williams, who cleared the line, and suddenly there was daylight between the sides. A really well-worked score, and at an ideal time, so close to half-time. The Welsh well covered in the centre despite Jonathan Davies' absence through injury. Halfpenny converted to make it 17 points to three and in doing so became the third highest point scorer for Wales ever with 351 points. 17-3 is how it stayed until the half-time break. The concession of that try was a serious setback for Brunel's men, leaving them with a 14-point deficit. But the Italians made a great start after the resumption, and within two minutes they had a try to celebrate. Sarto kicked ahead, and another of the Italian 20-year-olds, Michele Campagnaro, had the speed to go clear, getting the touchdown just before the ball went dead. The referee asked for the TMO's assistance once more, and although there were one or two questions about a forward pass from Campagnaro to Sarto in the build-up, the decision was 
that the try could be awarded. Yes, John, yes. are you okay with that? I've got yes. a decision for you. Yes. You may award the try. Unfortunately for the visitors, Allen's difficult conversion was off target, but they were back to within striking distance of the Welsh at 17 8. Italy continued to give the Welsh plenty to think about, but on 67 minutes, John Lacey penalised the Italian scrum for not driving straight right in front of the posts. It was a decision that Parise wasn't happy about. That's true. But Halfpenny slotted it over to put Wales 20 points to eight ahead. With a 12-point lead into the final quarter of the game, it looked comfortable for Wales. But within a minute, there was a lifeline for the Italians. A loose halfpenny pass was intercepted by Campagnaro. And the centre, earning only his third cap, cantered clear over the line for his second try on his Man of the Match Six Nations debut. It was a dream moment for the young Treviso centre. A nightmare one for Halfpenny. It also gave Allen the easy task of clipping the conversion over to leave just five points between the sides, 2015. It was a mark of the challenge the Italians put to the Welsh that relief was the mood when Wales were awarded a penalty in the 74th minute and Halfpenny put two scores between the sides when he kicked between the posts once more. This penalty put Wales 23-15 ahead and left the Italians with too much to do in the final few minutes. As the game drew to a close, the Welsh remained in control and collected a 10th Six Nations win in their last 11 games. But Warren Gatlin knows that he'll need a much improved performance from his side when they face Ireland in Dublin next time out. Italy have now lost 16 away matches in a row in the championship, which is a stark statistic, but they can take many positives from this performance as they prepare to take on France in Paris in their next outing. Final score at the Millennium Stadium, Wales 23, Italy 15.